keep telling y'all, Coach Maynard ain't playing no games over here on the hill, guys. Listen to me. I've already spoken about the players that Coach Maynard and the Alabama a and coaching staff has added to their uh, current roster. Spencer Perry, Malik Burroughs, Tay Proven, and, hey, and, and this young man I'm about to talk about right now. If you have not checked those video, videos out, check them out after this video goes off. Don't go nowhere. Make sure y'all stick around and hear this one out because this young man here, boy, he's a track star. Hey, y'all, hey, when I say Alabama and them got some speed on that defense, oh, my God. This, this is going to be, man, look here. If we about to play 7 on 7 in pads when well, we really about to see some folks get uh, their stuff not loose. You know, that, that's a saying that, you know, we like to say, knock it loose. Hey, if any of y'all know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments below. But, yeah, listen. I'm, I'm trying to understand how this young man came across my desk and I have not given you guys a video on him. So I'm going to give it to you right now. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, but to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leaf Sports Network. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell, making sure you get all upcoming videos. Not to mention, hey, tap in a friend or two. Tell them to come on in. You know what it is. We're having a good time. It's not, we talk about number HBCU sports over here. And for all my leaders out there, welcome back. Guys, look here. We're doing some great things with this YouTube algorithm. Hey, don't stop. Don't stop on me now. Keep on pushing this thing forward, guys, because without you, there's no me. And I appreciate every last one of you for all that you do to help this channel grow. So let's continue to keep making this thing go and grow until YouTube can't take it no more. And right now, they, they ain't said they ain't tapped out, but coach gonna tap on in. Look here, I'm gonna tell you this right now. When you look at the team, when you look at the structure of all the teams within the SWAC, everyone is trying to find a way to bolster their roster to get those necessary pieces that they need in case of injury. You know, I always talk about depth. So you want to have some depth at, you know, key positions, making sure that you're able to get out there and compete if one of your key players ends, ends up going down. And, you know, that's, that's all Coach Maynard has been doing in his offseason is making sure he has those necessary pieces at his disposal, especially when they're needed through this rough season. They're going to play 11 games. This is not going to be a five or six game season like it was in the spring. Like so many people have been complaining about, them, oh, that's not a real championship. Guess what? They played the game. They won. If any of you out there had Ohio State winning the national championship, they only played six games and they lost. So it's no big deal. We're just going to go ahead and, and count it, call it what it is, and just understand, hey, look, they the champs. But you know what? Coach Manor ain't sitting back on his laurel saying, hey, we won a championship during the spring. Why not? You know, we, we're good. We're not going to worry about nothing else. No, Coach Manor said, hey, look here, guys. We're trying to get us a second one. We're trying to do something that's never been done before, and that is win a championship twice in one year. So, you know, you already know Coach Bowler, the uh, is the new defensive line coach over at Alabama A&M, the previous head coach over Winston-Salem State University. Now, you do know that Coach Bowler actually coached with me while they were at Winston Salem State together. He was the defensive coordinator. So just think about all of the, the, the tricks to the trade, all of that knowledge that they're gonna have in that defensive room. Oh my God, that's boy, it's gonna be bananas. All I can tell you is this: adding all of that with those three players that I talked about, Spencer Perry and uh, Malik Burroughs, and I believe Tay Proves, Tay Proves is on the offensive side. And then you bring this young man in, boy, this. <laughs> Oh, my God, it's going to be crazy. Hey, this, this is going to be a track meet. You got some folks that's willing to hit some people. You got speed on that defense. So trust me, it's going to be sideline to sideline folks going to be covering. So if your offensive coordinator ain't calling the play like they supposed to or want to come out here with this uh, uh, this, J, this JV or Little League football playbook, you're going to get your head took off. That's all I'm telling you. Scope boy going to get ran up on you offensively and defensively, defensively playing with these guys. Listen. All I'm telling you is I did not know Coach Maynard was bringing in track stars. I, 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 didn't. I didn't. I didn't I didn't know Coach Maynard was bringing in track stars. I mean, the SWAT champs already had, you know, they got speed on offense. I mean, you got when you got the, the best offense, excuse me, you got the best receiver core in the SWAT, what can you say? I mean, what, what can you say? I mean, speed kills, right? Mm. Yeah, and, and, and footwork is a mother, right? Mm. I'm just saying, hey, don't 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 hit coach. Don't don't get mad at coach. Coach is talking about it. Hey, when I get to talking about everybody else in school, I'm be saying the same thing. Speed kills. Footwork, footwork is that thing, right? So hey, guys, yo, hey, let's make sure we got it together out there because boy, if you ain't on it, doggone it, you gonna find out real fast, real fast. But yes, guys, this young man is a track star. This young man set records in both 2019 and two, 2019 and 2020 in track on outdoor uh, outdoor tracks. 
in 2019 on an outdoor track, this young man in a 100-meter dash ran 11.73 seconds. In 2020, he did a personal best of 11.10 seconds. Now, when I tried to fit, when I when I checked out what this young man ran in the 40-yard dash, he ran a 4.48. <laughs> Speed is a mother. Speed kills, boy. This thing here is going to be crazy. This young man I'm talking about is none other than three-star Quentin Densmore, cornerback. 175 pounds, six foot one. Like I said, two sport athlete from Gadsden City High School, where he ran track and played football. Listen, this young man's closeout speed is crazy. As you can see, like I stated before, he runs a 4.48 40 yard dash. So trust me, if you think you've burnt him on a route, he's coming back to catch your behind. And if your if your quarterback is late on the ball, guess what's going to happen? Either A, he's going to knock it out your hand. B, he's going to intercept it. See, he's gonna knock. You, he's gonna knock you down if you catch it, making sure you're not able to hold on to that ball. This young man believes in playing the ball. So if you're not one of those type of receivers that want to secure the ball after you catch it, or go up at his highest point and snatch that ball down and pull it in tight to you, making sure you got a hold of it, you're not catching that ball for the day. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm telling you right now. Man, I got clip. As a matter of fact, I got video. You know, I got video to show you. I'm gonna go ahead and put that video up for you right now. We're gonna keep on talking about it. But yeah, guys, I'm listen. All I know is this: this young man in the defensive back room with Coach McCoy preparing for this upcoming season. This thing is gonna be bananas, man. I mean, Coach Maynard is not taking no. He's not taking no shorts. The coaching staff is not taking no back seats to nobody. They're the champs for a reason. And like I said, you can complain about six games, 60 games, 560 games. It don't matter. They won the championship. That's all that counts. They, they, hey, they ran the table. They won the championship. That's all that counts. And at the end of the day, you got to give them their respect on it. But I'm telling you this right now. This, watching, I would, You know what? I would really love to watch this young man go up against the – Receiving core of Alabama A&M, Moore, Hilaire, Jenkins, Howard, Ibrahim, just to watch iron sharpen iron because of the simple fact that while he's out there, you know, giving them the business on them running routes, they're giving him the business on having to defend them. And that's what you want to see because you never know the type of receivers that you're going to see out there on the field to play in the swag. I mean, shoot, you might have one receiver that's coming out there that's shifty as all get out. And if you have not seen that in practice to get those muscle memory hours in on how to defend that type of player, man, it's going to be a long day for you. So him having these teammates to play along with is a phenomenal thing. But I'm going to tell you right now, Coach Walker wishes uh, Quentin Densmore, Coach Maynard, and his coaching staff nothing but the best of luck this upcoming fall. And look forward to seeing you guys do some phenomenal things, especially repeating as SWAC and Celebration Bowl champions. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to so get all upcoming videos. And remember, guys, be the one and lead.